it's a little bit intimidating for the Kiev School of Economics to be a part of this. Um, this is a new country. I left the country 15 or 19 years ago, and I could not imagine that uh, there would be such a level of conference even three or four years ago. People would simply not come. They would have nothing in common to talk. And um, I'm very proud to be an alum of the Kiev School of Economics as well as be involved in developing the school. I believe the school has played an enormous role in developing and providing the human capital which is available today for development of the country. We have seen a number of representatives of the alumni of the Kiev School of Economics here um, who are now in the West. They are fully integrated. They are the success story in the global markets, in gl global intellectual markets. And they are working in the same language and in the same culture as the rest of the world. I'm very happy that the bank has transformed itself and it's a completely different level of discussion in the public discourse that we observe today in Ukraine. We need economic research in Ukraine. We need civilized, quality economic research. We should stop making decisions based on anecdotes and uh, subjective stories from Georgia, Poland, Ukraine, some book or another book I don't have anything against any success story. We have to learn the best from Poland, from Georgia, from all other countries. But we have to use data. We have to be evidence-based. And this is the motto of the school. The school for the 20 years has been trying to provide human capital in this country which believes in evidence-based research and evidence-based decision-making. And I'm very happy to see that it's finally starting to pay off. We need to push research, the research agenda forward. Today is just one conference, but it's not a rule. Last year there was another conference, but it is still not a rule. There should be thousands of conferences at this level. We should start communicating at the level of the policy making, not only in the bank, but throughout the government and throughout the think tanks. We have to increase quality everywhere. Competence could be as an important problem and challenge as corruption in Ukraine. Competence is critical if we don't develop confidence. Competence, we will not have Ukraine on par with the rest of the world. And I believe that the National Bank can be the driver of the quality of research in Ukraine. This is the institution which is uniquely positioned to force the rest of the country to start participating in evidence-based and data-based analysis and policy making. They are at the forefront of the changing of the attitudes towards the way we answer our policy questions. I also hope that the Kiev School of Economics will be able to adjust itself and will start investing in the skills today, which will be important 20 years from now. The world is changing, and the skills which were relevant 20 years ago, and people have invested into them, are paying off today in this very room. But we need to think about what we can provide for the future. The Kiev School of Economics has failed in these 20 years in making national impact on education in Ukraine. It has been able to provide a handful of an extremely well-educated individuals who make impact internationally and nationally in Ukraine. Yuri Gordnichenko perhaps being one of the stars, but we have half of the room related in one way or another to the Kiev School of Economics. We host another research conference tomorrow for two days on economics in the region, full of experts who have been interacting with the school for 20 years. But yet we see the school as a small island. We don't see a national wave, a tsunami of a change in the attitude. And that's, I think, where the failure is. And we should think about what we can do today in order to scale up the success of the school and scale up the success of this conference and scale up the success of the policy reform at the National Bank. Because if it continues to be an isolated success story, we have a long way to go. We have to increase the pressure on all the neighboring friendly institutions, educational and policy making, to step up their game and to invest in quality and to, be, to make evidence-based and data-based decision-making as their 
first principle. I thank you very much for participating. I thank you 